Hello Cancer, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're good. Um, in this reading, it is going to be looking at uh, how they feel about you now. So this can be somebody from your past, but it can also be somebody that you're in a connection with now and you're wondering how's their feelings going? New person, possibly as well. So let's clear the space of any previous readings and the energies that have been on the table, sending as usual the good vibey, smoky, good smoky vibes through to you guys out there. Um, personal readings, if you want to have one with me, link in the description box below. Never in the comment section using some kind of WhatsApp number. It is just not me, okay? Uh, let's get started. Let's get the energy out that is the your person's energy whoever we're thinking about here what is up with them currently let's see what card will want to show itself to me there you go well whoever this is right um got an ace of pentacles coming up here this person's thinking some very serious things here i feel like they're thinking about stability and security more than absolutely anything else if this is somebody that you are with, I kind of got the vibe it's not a new person. There's two energies coming through of an ex-person and a new person because it's general reading. I'm picking up on a few different things. Um, if it is, is this a possibility? I'm picking up on a new person as well because I'm picking up on like different vibes coming through. So let's go to all three of them because we want to get all of you guys in here. If this is an ex-person, they're really thinking about getting back together with you. Ace of Pentacles, and they may even ask you to get married or want to be married with you. That's a very stable energy. Um, if it's a person that you're currently with, this could be a relationship that is literally going to a place of marriage. They are holding that in their energy, so that's good. They're thinking about stability. If it's a new person, this person's ready to get married. Okay, they're ready to settle down. This is a person that's ready to settle down. So let's have a look and actually see what are their feelings towards you. Then we're going to go in and see what they think about you. Because you know, you've got to know what they're thinking too. And as usual, we're going to get some spirit guide advice right out at the end of the reading and see what your spirit guides kind of see about the situation. So let's look at that. Five of Pentacles energy. This is their biggest fear. That you will, first of all, ex-person, that you will not allow them in. From the Five of Pentacles, that the security that they actually want to have, there's a very earthy energy coming through you. It does not come through. Look, they really want to move forward with you. Um, look at that. Whoa. Uh, there's an energy, if it's a new person, that fear is that you guys don't start, you see. If it's a current person that you're with, there might be a bit of a worry here that you guys are facing a breakup. But in their energy, they got two cards. And it's interesting, these two cards have been kind of like stalking me no matter how many times I shuffle the deck today. And um, you've got an Ace of Cups in the reverse position and the Page of Swords as well. There's a tiny little bit of a feeling of a panic going on inside of them. With the Page of Swords being there. The Page of Swords is a good, good energy. It's an air energy. So it talks about what's going on in your mind, your thought processes. And they're thinking about either repairing something, especially if it's an ex or even a current person. There's something that needs to be repaired especially because there's a five of pentacles being here they try to repair this but at the same time yeah look at that the so herbs just popped on the charcoal block whenever that happens i know my spirit guides giving me little messages little signs like yeah go that way so with the page of swords being there it's almost this energy of them trying to think how to fix or move on from where you guys currently are, no matter what situation. Even if it's a new person, there's a panicky feeling also as well. Because the Page of Swords in the reverse position is a little bit, um, it can be a hopeful feeling, but it's almost like a bit of a, um, you know, when excitement becomes overly excited, when you're, if you've seen you've got a child, a little, a little one, a small baby, or like a toddler, they can be like excited and happy. And then when they get overly excited, not long after that, they like fall down and start crying or just get moody after that and just become drained of energy. This is the kind of vibe that I'm picking up from them. They are a little bit in a panicky mode. Um, they may, after this, it's very interesting them picking up where I'm doing the reading. They may kind of like go into a little place of like a slump after this energy because of this draining them, trying to fix or trying to move forward with you. Um, they can get a little bit down after this. It's like this, this energy can drain you. With that energy, yeah, definitely coming in, wanting to offer that cup of love. In the reverse position, possibly somebody younger than you. It does happen. Um, or you can be a bit younger than them, even maybe more than a bit younger. Uh, there can be an age gap here with that energy. But that is definitely them going, I want to repair. I want to offer this cup of love. Even if it's a new person, I feel like if it's a new person, 
they're also scared that you're going to reject them. They want to offer that cup of love, but they're thinking very serious about the future. Ex person, obviously, they're coming in wanting to offer. If it's a current relationship, it's like they want to move away from this and have a new beginning with you guys with the pages being there. Very interesting. So let's see what they're thinking, what they're thinking about you. You may not want that right now. You're making a decision about them and they're not sure what that is. Whoa, page of swords, knight of swords. You're thinking much more clearer than what they are. Um, if this is a current relationship, let's go there because I can see what's going on here. You've got the ace of pentacles being there with this kind of relationship coming up with all the energies that I'm seeing. There's three pentacles that have come through here. Um, I'm just going to make one little statement, especially if this is a current relationship. There's not one major arcana that I've drawn out in this reading. A lot of what is going on here is things that can be worked through. Okay. Just letting you know. Major arcanas are events that you're going to remember in five years from now. They will affect your life in such a way. Um, a major arcana being the fool card, the high priestess, the, the emperor, those kinds of energies. It will affect your life in such a way that it's going to be a marked event that you look back at and go, oh, yeah, that's what changed everything. But when you've got minor arcanas in six months from now, you won't remember this. You see what I mean? So this, if it's a current person, there's a chance that this can be fixed. But how they're viewing you right now, I kind of like feel like they, they're doubting if you really want to be with them. It doesn't matter if this is a new person, your current person, or even the ex. With the three of materials being here, it's almost like the hope that you guys can move forward with each other and be stable like that. It's like it's been pushed away. The time frame has been, you may be delaying that. You may be going, I don't know. I don't know. And there's the I don't know, the two of pentacles, juggling those two roses here or pentacle energies. And it's this energy of you going, I'm not sure if I want to release this or hold on to this anymore. Um, I do feel like they, they know you're still making a decision about this. But the thing is, there's your night of voices. Night of voices, logical, logical, logical. Very different energy from the page of swords. What I can pick up, I almost feel like you got the 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 last say in what's going to happen in this connection i feel like you're the one that's going to be either letting it go forward or completely pulling out it's all in your decisions here with the knight of voices being there thinking a lot about what to do but there's an energy of you thinking about it on a very practical level um in the mind looking at all the facts instead of looking at emotions more um, you are going to make a decision. What I can say, a bit of advice before I even take out the advice cards, with the two of materials being there, um, delay any decision making right now. Because we are in an energy of a lot of uh, eclipses that have happened. It's extremely emotional. Um hyped up energy for everybody what i can say is wait a little bit just until maybe after we let mercury retrograde pass you know what i mean 22nd of june even this energy this is an energy of waiting as well to kind of like see what's going to happen that stability that they're looking for we can put it off a little bit we can wait there's nothing wrong with the pause button being pushed because during the time of the pause button we can learn a lot so let's see what your spirit guides actually have to say um the moon card yeah there's some stuff that you don't know there's things that you don't know possibly in the past they could have lied to you or even lied to you there's a justice card coming up here as well you without a doubt are going to make a decision here um, your spirit guides is literally going moon card Pisces is energy as well coming up here he has your two major arcanas and I was going maybe this can be repaired when they've dropped two major arcanas up here going well Deborah let's see with a moon card Pisces energy in the reverse position there is a possibility that you are not being told all truths um, or all the truth has not been revealed to you yet and then you have your justice card this card i don't like i do like it but when it's in the reverse position also being libra's energy that is an injustice that's taking place right now so whatever's causing that five of pentacles definitely something has happened that's not okay towards you and it is something that they have done whatever that is you don't know something here with the moon card in the reverse position and whatever it is that you do not know it wasn't in your best interest with the justice card in the reverse position i kind of like feel with the two of materials being here um i feel like you're going to find out what this is you're going to find out what it is before the end of June. Without a doubt, you're going to know. And that's when you're going to make that decision. I, I almost feel like they that's why they're panicking. 
That's why they got this jittery feeling. They're afraid you might find out. That's why they got a panicky feeling that I was picking up on. Yes, see? Because they got that hope that hope that you don't find out something um, about them. They're coming in very strong as well. You know, sometimes when people do something wrong, they try to make a grand gesture. It's almost like, oh my gosh, you know, I did something wrong. Uh, it's like it's like when when somebody cheats on you. I'm not saying they're cheating on you. I'm just using an example. And they know they've done something wrong. And they come back with chocolates and, and flowers for you out of guilt, you know. And I kind of feel like that's them kind of coming in, wanting to be in an even stronger relationship with you. But there is something here that's causing them to say, you know, let's get married because they're covering up something else that they're hoping you don't find out about. That's not been in your best interests here. But I do feel like with that two of materials and the Knight of Voices, you're going to know, you're going to know exactly what it is. I think um, you're going to find out some information or you're going to be able to work it out on your own in your mind. You'd be like, yeah, I think I kind of vibe. I think I see what's going on here. You are without a doubt going to make a decision before the end of this end of June. But there we go, guys. I'm wishing you all the best going forward. I honestly will tell you, I love the energy of you actually thinking with your mind and not with your heart too much. Thinking about stability as well. Because at the end of the day, I know, right? Love is blind. The thing is, sometimes our heart in certain circumstances can lead us astray, especially if somebody is doing something that is not right for you. Then we still need to start listening to our mind over our heart energy because that's what gets us into a lot of trouble. There we go, guys. Thank you so much for coming in. Sending love and light in your direction. Bye.